Yo, it's Mo, and I am in Yawarat right now, which is otherwise known as Chinatown. They've actually shut the road off from all car and motorcycle access, and they've basically barricaded this entire area and activated a total street food night. This place is heaving with people, and because it's also Chinese New Year's, there is so much going on here. The place is beautiful. It's lit up. They've got all these signs up, all these lanterns hanging around. People are hungry. They're starving. <laughs> and everyone's just kind of in a super happy mood to be here today. So there's a lot of food going on, a lot of crazy smells. You got people selling um, anything from dumplings to putiao on the side of the road to like the most pungent durians. And I am so excited to get this party kicked off here in Yawarat today. Let's go. Straight off the bat, the moment we walked down the road, I saw this dude on the left side and man, he was just throwing this fiery walk of noodles like straight into the air. And I had never seen that before. And you guys just stand here like chilling to this like hardcore music and just like having a great time. And he basically just put some oil, he put some noodles, cranks up that fire. And then he just starts mixing it, and then he takes it off the fire, he starts tossing it around. And just when I thought he was done, he just throws it like right into the sky. And then he grabs it like, like a badass, like just, just right, right behind him, and just grabs all that noodle. And then he comes and he tops up with some bean sprouts, stir fries it a little bit, and then he serves it onto a plate. Man, I had never seen anything like that. And I, I had to ask what they were, and they are Hong Kong noodles. And what they are basically are these noodles, and he's right behind me, dude's right behind me. <laughs> I got a good seat. And, and these noodles are basically just these wok fried smoky noodles that have abalone and chicken in it. So we just ordered a plate. I'm super excited to try it out. I think he's about to wok fry it up now for us. And I can't wait to eat it. I'm excited. <laughs> so you've got like this big, we got like a medium sized plate. It was only 200 baht, but you can see it's, it's really, really simple. It's just, you got these thin strands of noodles. I believe those are bamboo shoots. You've got coriander there, but that's just as a topping. And man, look at the color of that. That's just, whoa, look at that. That is just from, Oyster sauce and soy sauce. And oh my, look at that. All this, like, all at the bottom, you got all these bean sprouts as well. I believe that that is the abalone. Oh no, though, hold on. I think those are mushrooms. Yeah, those are mushrooms. <laughs> you, got, you got shiitake mushrooms in there too. You got really strong flavors. You got, you got the oyster sauce, you got soy sauce, you got the smoke from that fiery wok, and you got those shiitake mushrooms. And shiitake mushrooms. Don't mess around when it comes to their potency. So let's let's dig in. I'm psyched, man. I, what also we got on the side, they're giving us some, some mushroom soy sauce. We've got some vinegar with chilies. Uh, we've got another type, I believe it's like a malt vinegar, 
And then we have this really like strong creamy mustard. I don't know what to do with that. And I don't think I'm gonna mess with that one right now, but let's dig into this and find out what it tastes like. Oh man. I gotta go for a big bite. I gotta do a big bite on this one. First bite of Chinatown. so bouncy I love it the moment that I put like a big mouthful or chopstick full into my mouth you just get bam with that shiitake mushroom bro boom that is crazy oh man I'm going in for another one I got some chicken on this one too this time let's do a little taste test I'm pretty sure this is chicken not chicken <laughs> that's chicken or is it abalone? Oh, I think, oh. Oh. That is abalone, damn. I thought those were slivers of bamboo. That is all abalone. There is no bamboo in there at all. It's all abalone. I really thought that was bamboo. Okay. Second bite of Chinatown. Let's go. Mmm. 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 That's so good. That is amazing. I'm so happy I stopped by to get that. I got a whole street to eat. It's got a whole street to eat, man. Mm. Mm. My curiosity is speaking. I gotta try this mustard. I'm gonna try to mix it up a bit. Let's, let's see what it tastes like. Look at this goopy, creamy mustard. It's like, I don't know, man. The moment I smelt it, I'm like, a little of that's gonna go a real long way. So let's just put a little bit of it. I'll put a little bit, okay? We got some of that. I think I think that's malt vinegar. A little bit of that. Let's put some of this chili vinegar on the top. Now let's do this little spinny spinny. Mix that up, coat all those that goodness in there. And we're gonna try that out. I loved it the way it was without anything, but you know, you gotta try it out sometimes. Man, you can smell that mustard. Oh, dude, that is strong. That, that smell, oh my God. I never smelled anything like that before. I, I don't know, man. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mm. It smells really strong. It's hit me like wasabi. But taste-wise, it's like regular mustard. I think... <laughs> I think it was just a smell that was taking me for a spin, man. Mm. I'm glad I tried that. I'm probably not gonna try that again. <laughs>
managed to find this cute little soy um, just off the main road of Chinatown. And we bumped into a really cool restaurant that, that specializes in sizzler platters. So what's really cool is you just like, take this like iron slab and then just throw it on top of this like fire furnace and this is getting really hot. And the moment that they've done with that, they put it on top of the surface, that kind of like cleans it down a little bit and then throws whatever is being ordered at that moment in time. What they generally do here is latna, which is like a noodle dish that has like a thick gravy. So they basically put this like egg wrapped in seafood. So you get seafood chicken or shrimp and they basically wrap it for you. They bring it over on a scissor platter and they just dump all this sauce on it. Just sends fumes like smoke flying out. You've got all these, oh, let's move all these vegetables from the top there. Let's see that goodness at the bottom. You got these nice big prawns here. You've got some of that squid. And then if you dig all the way through and through at the bottom, you've got a fried egg and that is noodle. That is just crispy noodle. Look at that. Look at that. It's just like this crispy, thick, fried noodle that you need to break apart. If you want to get a little bit of egg on there. Whoa, I've actually never had it this way. Never. And this looks so intense. That, that noodle is super intense. I'm gonna put some gravy on top of there. I'm gonna get some spinach. Hold on a second. I think that's spinach <laughs> or Chinese kale. And we're gonna get some here we go, let's get a shrimp. Boom, look at that. Beautiful latna. Gorgeous, yeah, that's Chinese kale. We've got some of that um, noodle at the bottom and then we've got the shrimp on the top. Mm. Oh. Mmm. That's amazing. Don't tell anybody about this place. <laughs> that is so good. That noodle, that when you first see that noodle, it's a bit scary because it's quite tough when you cut into it. But the moment you bite into it, you get all that smokiness. And that gravy from the Latna, you get like a thick gravy, like a chicken stock gravy. With that veg, with all that seafood. Oh man, that is something else. And then when you get some of that fried egg on there too. Yeah, I'm going in for a second bite of that for sure. Oh my goodness. I got some squid on there, I got some egg, and it's just got noodle. You don't need anything else, just that, that's good enough. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to get everything, ooh, there's a lot of noodle too. And a bit of tentacle on there. I wish I had a bigger spoon. Whoa, oh boy. Wait, I gotta get that tentacle, oh. I need to secure this. You know, you gotta make decisions sometimes. Get off there, corn. <laughs> oh my god, come back, squid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, whoa, there we go. Lena left me a good bite right there. Oh, I got a heap load of squid and a big chunk of that noodle. You see over there? That part that's just kind of like coming off the lip of that spoon, that's that charred noodle. That crispy charred goodness. Oh. <laughs> that noodle's incredible. It really is, it's so good. Oh man, that's really good. If you're coming down to Chinatown, make 
that left on that soy and come down here, man. You probably see wafts of smoke coming out of here anyway. Get the lot now. Out of this world. stand that I've been looking for for a really long time and the funny thing I found it here it is a stand that sells dry squid and what they do with this dry squid is so unique that you probably won't find it anywhere else they get this dry squid and he basically clamps it in between this like netted handle and he puts it on top of this like hot charcoal they'll start to fan it for a bit until that dry squid gets just slightly black and charred just a little bit and right after that, he takes it out and he's got this steamroller, this manual steamroller. And what he does is he slides that squid right in the middle of there and he keeps on going back and forth, like forward and backward, forward and backward, just stretching that squid out <laughs> so it's as long as it could possibly be without tearing. And then once that, that is done, he basically gives you a sauce. And that sauce is just like sweet chili sauce. You got some chili powder on it and some crushed peanuts. And what I love about him is he's such a character, he's such a sweet man. I actually sat there and he was telling me which angle to film him from to get like the best shots of what he was doing. Such a sweet guy. And he's managed to hook us up with some really, really good squid. He's got like different levels, different sizes, um, all the way from 10 baht to 50 baht. The 10 baht ones are too small to like stretch out. So he won't stretch those out, he'll just um, quickly grill those for you. But then when you get up to the 30s, 40s, and 50s, those are the ones that you can stretch out. And you could probably guess which one I went for. I went straight up for the 50. I got the big one. Hold on a sec. Let me just show you how, how strong, how long he stretched it out. So he just puts it in the bag for you. And it's like wafer thin. So he started off with the size of my hand. And by the time he was done, <laughs> that's that head at the bottom. It is so big. So he basically stretches all of that out. So it's like, you can see, it's like super, super thin and terrible right now. And what you want to do is basically, you want to get some of that. Hold on a second, get some sauce on this. I got, I got Nina as, as my sauce boss right now. <laughs> the sauce beast needs another sauce hand. <laughs> and you basically, you want to, oh man, you want to get all that peanut. You want to use it as a scooper. Oh, look at that. Dry squid. This is coated with nut and chili powder. And then you want to just do the honors and just, oh, oh my God. Oh man. Mm. That peanut, that dry squid. Oh, that char and that chewing is, is what it's all about, man. That is so good, so simple, so delicious. That guy's a master at what he does, so simple. But wow, man, I'm so happy I had that bite just now. Look at that head. That head has basically been pancaked <laughs> through, through that steamroller that he had over there. And this is probably my favorite part of that whole thing. You probably eat the whole body, which I have completely done. And then I save this part to the end because I love to chew on it. Super chewy, super nice. I'm gonna get some sauce in it and I'm gonna finish this squid out. Look at that. Just like a little shovel. Ah, let's go. Oh my god. Mmm. Yo. I love that texture. It's chewy and firm. And the more you chew it, the juicier it gets with that sauce. It just goes everywhere. It's incredible. The little boy inside me is super happy to have found that squid, man. <laughs> Such a unique and delicious taste. I absolutely love dry roasted and pancake squid. So good. As crazy as it seems, Yawarat is starting to die down a little bit. 
So what we managed to do was we managed to catch this lady who is um, selling these buns. This is these straight up buns with all these different fillings. Um, she had like all these jars in front of her, man, that was full of jams and creams and everything like that. And it's just milk buns. Look at that. That looks insane. We managed to get three flavors. We have one which is Sankhaya, which is like an egg custard. It's beautiful golden orange egg custard. And then we got one that she's just stuffed with the strawberry jams, this glistening strawberry jam. And something that they call Nui Nom, which she says that is a specialty of her shop. Nui Nom basic means like buttermilk. So I've never actually tasted it before because it's a specialty and it, it, she says they only make it. So I'm excited to try that one as well. Maybe I'm going to hit that one up first. So let's go for the Nui Nom bread roll, <laughs> milk bread Nui Nom. Oh man, these are, oh dude, it's like, wow. It's just goopy bread and she basically hollowed them out so she can stuff them with this these fillings but they're like also really like crusty crispy on the outside and just goopy gooey on the inside it's crazy this is what it looks like and this is what's inside look at that just goopy buttermilk i'm gonna go give it a shot let's go oh my god if you're a diabetic you should definitely 100 percent never participate in any eating of this food in your life that was just crazy sugar and there's sugar butter inside on top of that that buttermilk is condensed milk but a lighter version of condensed milk holy moly whoa that is sweet Woo. wow i think one bite of that is enough for me I'm kind of scared of the rest of them now because how sweet they are. But let's try to go for the strawberry jam. The strawberry jam version here. Oh man, that just... I can feel the sugar. <laughs> That's about to course in my veins. Just by holding it. But look at that goopy. Oh, look at the goopiness. Just... And the whole thing is full all the way through. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is ridiculously sweet. But their jelly is also a bit more like, sorry, their jam is more like jelly. It's a lot softer and you get a bit of those jelly chunks in there. But that is just e as equally sweet as the other one. I'm gonna go for the egg custard now. Hopefully this one lands me in the middle grounds of sweetness. <laughs> Let's go for the Sankhaya, which is that egg custard. Beautiful. All right. Yeah. Okay, I messed with that. That's good. Mm. That is good. That isn't too sweet. That's the way I like it. There's no need for it to be as sweet as the others. Some people love that stuff, but for me, man, that's way too sweet. This is my final bite. Thank you guys for following me on this journey, on this little mini food tour through Yawarat, Chinatown, and Bangkok. And I'm gonna end it on this one right here. I'm Mo, this is a Sauce Beast, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs> I'm out. Like I said, it was way too sweet for me, but it's found a home in Nina. <laughs> she is 
smashing it. How good is that? So delicious. <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> Stubbing my face. Yeah, of course. What about the jammy donut one? Mm. There we go. Buttermilk. Yeah. So delicious. So there you go, guys. If you guys have a sweet tooth, you gotta take Nina's advice on it because it's found the a home in Nina. Definitely the buttermilk. Good night. You wanna sign off, Nina? Uh, sure. Thank you for joining us in Chinatown in Bangkok. And, uh, have a good night. <laughs>